I'm Susan Briggs, the Art Resource Teacher for Dearborn Public Schools. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Chokel. She's the Executive Director of Student Achievement for Dearborn Schools. Thank you, Susan. It is, I am truly delighted to be here in person. As we all know, it has been three years since we celebrated our young artists by coming together as a community. And there is no better way to celebrate being together than to celebrate the accomplishments of our students. We are all aware of the impact of this pandemic on our children, our families, and what we do each and every day. I am continually amazed by the energy, the creativity, and the inspiration that our young artists provide for us. There is a true commitment to students first. As you will soon see, that creativity has extended itself this year to watercolors, pastel, metalwork, beads, clay, graphite, oil. There are so many mediums that our students have used to create uh, such beautiful pieces that it truly is, once again, a celebration. There are about 400 young artists or more in this art show. On behalf of the district, I'd like the students who are here to stand and be applauded and recognized for their outstanding accomplishments. Students, please stand. Thank you. I'd also like our outstanding staff, our art teachers, who are here to stand and be recognized. Art teachers. The dedication demonstrated by our teachers to students, not just this year, but throughout this time, again, has truly been amazing. I am not an artist, and anyone who can facilitate art through a computer, believe me, it has done some amazing things, and you guys did it with our students, so thank you again. Parents, let's give our parents a huge round of applause. We appreciate all of the support and partnership with our parents, volunteering, donation of supplies, coming on field trips, spending time with students at home as they engage in anything that they might be doing through art at home because all of this creativity truly takes a village to, to uh, support. I'd also like to thank all of our administrators, administrators who are here, let's give them a round of applause. Our building administrators are very supportive of our, uh, the art of our students and art teachers, as well as, of course, our Board of Education and our superintendent, Dr. Maleko. Everyone is a strong supporter of the arts. Additionally, I'd also like to thank Emma Jean Woodyard and Sasha Corder from the Dearborn Community Fund. Let's give them a big hand for their assistance in setting this up. The Pajeski Gallery, the Dearborn Education Foundation, and the Dearborn Department of Parks and Recreation. This outstanding display of student work and your attendance at these opening ceremonies is evidence of the strong support we have for the arts in Dearborn. These organizations help bring art to our students through events like this art show and joy to the lives of each and every one of us. So thank you for coming and enjoy the presentation. Thank you, Dr. Chokel. I agree, this is really great to be back in person again, school and the art show. So I'm one of 35 art teachers who are working to inspire our students in our art rooms every day. This art show is just a small sample of incredible things being created every day throughout the district. I couldn't be more proud of my fellow art teachers and the work of our talented students. Another event that we are really proud about is our annual Empty Bowls Dinner. In November, the art department raised over $4,500 and donated it to Gleaner's Food Bank and to Blessings in a Backpack. Please mark your calendars for next year. Park Place generously hosts our meal each year the Monday before Thanksgiving. 
Um, another event is current and retired art teachers have an amazing show hanging in the Rotunda Gallery inside of the Henry Ford Centennial Library right now. And it's through April 26th, the same as this art show, the student show. Please stop by during uh, library hours to see that. So now for this student show. Each year, art teachers choose between six and 18 student works for this show, depending on the size of the school. This exhibit is not a contest, but it is a representation of the tremendous talent here in Dearborn. I'd also like to thank the Dearborn Education Foundation, Dr. Chokel already mentioned them, but they generously fund the purchase of all the mats on the 2D artwork. Um, having the uniform mats the same color of black and white makes the art show look very professional and the art's easily framed once the students take it home. Each of the 400 plus students who have work in this 2022 citywide art show will receive a certificate and a ribbon which will be given to them by their art teacher. Retired art teacher Bob Curtis, who has knowledge and experience with children's art, spent hours choosing 12 works that he feels best represents the work of each age group of students in the show. All Juror Choice Award students will receive a gift card, compliments of our local Blick Art Supplies store. Thank you, Blick, for this generous donation. We have a lot of generous people helping us with all of this. Um, so now I'd like to announce those 2022 Juror Choice Award. Each of these pieces have a black and gold ribbon next to them in the show, so you can find them. Students, please stand when your name is called. From the kindergarten through second grade category, Iman from Salina Elementary created a two-dimensional collage entire, entitled Color and Shapes, and Mrs. Locke is her art teacher. Congratulations, Iman. Miriam from Snow Elementary created a three-dimensional paper piece entitled Paper Relief, and Ms. Staczynski is the art teacher. <laughs> Third through fifth grade, Leanne from William Ford Elementary created a mixed media piece entitled Sappy, Silly Happy Portrait. Ms. Sabrin is the art teacher. Eleanor from Howe Elementary created a three-dimensional mixed media art entitled Quick Snack, and Ms. Hamayad is the art teacher. <laughs> Sixth through eighth grade, Ola from O.L. Smith Middle School created a two-dimensional painting entitled New World, and Mr. Cade is the art teacher. Cole, an eighth grader from Dearborn Virtual K-12 School, created a three-dimensional artwork entitled Peekaboo We See You, and Mrs. Thomas is the art teacher. <laughs> Ninth through 10th grade, Moises from Dearborn High School created an untitled two-dimensional drawing, and Mrs. Cassidy is the art teacher. Rianne from Fortson High School created a three-dimensional piece entitled La Soleil, and Miss Patrick is the art teacher. <laughs> this is the 11th through 12th grade category. Danya from Etzel Ford High School created a two-dimensional painting entitled Tim Hortons, and Miss Patroniti is the art teacher. Wafa from Fordson High School created a three-dimensional wood piece entitled Reclining, and Miss Curtis is the art teacher. <laughs> In the special education category, Kellen from Nowlin Elementary created a two-dimensional piece entitled Penguin in the Snow, and Mrs. May is the art teacher. Antonio from Etzel Ford High School created a three-dimensional piece entitled Fries, and Miss Dudek is the art teacher. Applause 
Dearborn Schools Superintendent Dr. Maleko has selected one work from the show to be framed and displayed in his office for, one, for the next school year. This piece has a green ribbon next to it. This year's Superintendent's Award goes to Enna, a fifth grader from Lindbergh Elementary School. She created a two-dimensional piece entitled Warm and Cool Tree, and Mr. Goki is the art teacher. Inside of the Pajeski Gallery, there are four display areas dedicated to each high school. Dearborn High, Etzel Ford High, and Fortson High each have the work of one senior artist display. Seniors are chosen by their art teachers for their outstanding work and growth accomplished during the, their time in the high school art programs. Um, please stand as your name is called. Stella from Dearborn High School. Stella feels like she will always have art as a form of entertainment and expression. She hopes to have an art-related career. Teaching's really great. You could, should consider that. Uh, Musa is a senior artist from Etzel Ford High School. This talented student will continue to create art and accept freelance and commission work while becoming a tattoo artist. Janine is a senior artist from Fordson High School. This outstanding photography student has credited taking photos with giving her a deeper appreciation for nature. This led to an interest in environmental science, which is what she plans to pursue in the future. The Michael Berry Center's display, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Michael Berry Career Center is displaying work from a number of students rather than one senior artist. The focus of the display is client logo designs based on specific criteria. Senior artists will speak about their work and answer questions about their artistic vision today at 5.30 inside the gallery next to their respective artwork. The panels with some of the student work are located towards this other entrance uh, to the building near the donor wall in the gym. So please make a point to see this art as well as the art in the Pajeski Gallery. This show will be up through Tuesday, April 26th. The gallery hours were on the postcard that you should have all received uh, Tuesday through Friday, 9.30 to 3.30, and 12 to 4 on Saturday. Next Wednesday, April 13th, it will be open, the gallery will be open 9.30 to 6 p.m., which should make it easier for students to come, so please spread the word on that. So congratulations to all of the young artists and to the art teachers for another successful citywide art show. Thank you to all of you for coming today, and please go enjoy the show. Thank you.